Hi, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you where the MariaDB files are, you know, the physical ones. You'll be able to look at them and get excited. Look, so last week I did a video on Home Assistant. It's again Sunday. I'm tinkering with my smart home and I made a video last week about the MariaDB and I said stop looking for the files. Just dig into the data but don't look for the files. Now, not everyone liked that video. One thumbs down, one tear fell from my eye. So today I decided I'm going to show you where the files are and also we'll have a look at a little tool that'll help you explore your Home Assistant a little more. So if you're new like me with Home Assistant, then come along for the ride and maybe together we'll learn something new. First, let's go and install a handy little tool called in the add-on store, SSH and Web Terminal. Go and grab that one. Let's install. Now this is gonna give you a nice little uh, command line interface inside the web UI in Home Assistant. Very handy. Uh, I know, you think it's already thumbs up. Well, hang on, it gets better. So then we can very easily use that tool to go into a world from the past that I remember writing commands and we'll have a look at some files. Okay, now let's go and set up the config. Let's put a password in here. Something super secret. Shh. Uh, now. And there we are. Now we can start to have a bit of a look around. Now I kind of understand the urge to want to see where the MariaDB files are, right? For the default database when you install the new version of Home Assistant without any modifications, well, it's easy to find. You can just open up your Samba share, head into the config, and there you go. You see Home Assistant v2 database. So there it is. But once you've installed the MariaDB, well, the files kind of vanish. Today I'll show you where they are. Now in here, I could start to list and have a look what's in there. Now, you could have a look for a very long time here and you're not gonna find what you're looking for. You could spend hours like I did. What you actually need to remember is the MariaDB, with the way it's installed on this installation of Home Assistant, is it's an add-on. So it's inside a Docker container. So the database is inside that container. So all you need to do is go to your command line, use the Docker tools, jump inside the container, and then browse those files. So let's do that. So the way to do that is docker executable i-t, then target the add-on, and the add-on I want to jump into is db, and then I'm gonna bash around in there. Now, when I start to list the files, you start to see something that looks a little different. So now we're actually inside the container. Now we can have a look, for example, in data. Let's have a look in there. Databases. And we'll list those and voila. That's it. Those are the files. Right? If you remember, I created my MariaDB database with a wonderful imaginative name of Home Assistant. I can show you that. If I go to PHP my admin, there is the database called Home Assistant, and here are the four tables that are in there. So we explored them last week. Now, if I jump back to the terminal, and you can see here the directory listing, 
Home Assistant database is there, and there's a bunch of other files as well. Now I'm gonna go back to the argument I made last week, and that is stop looking for the files. Okay, now you've found them, great. Now what you actually need to think about is what kind of backup are you gonna take of this database in the future or on a periodic basis? A logical backup or a physical backup? So I showed you how you could do a logical backup last week. I definitely would recommend a logical backup because it makes the data just very flexible. You can put it anywhere. So if you have a major crash of your system, you can install on new hardware, you can install new versions, and you can take that logical backup and restore it into a new database. And you'll have everything that you had at the moment you took that logical backup. Whereas a physical backup, well, it's only gonna be useful if you happen to rebuild everything exactly the same way that you have it at the moment the system crashes. So it's kind of not that robust. And look, to be honest, if you get a database that is so huge, that I mean maybe the database is over a gig or a terabyte or some ridiculous number like that, and you want to back that up, then sure, you want to do a physical backup. But then I actually think you would start to clone disks and you would start to use some low level disk utility to actually copy physical data blocks onto another drive so that you've got a backup. Because one of the problems with MariaDB, or should I say the benefits, is that it's running a lot of things in memory, so it's faster. Now, if you start trying to copy these files, well, you're potentially going to miss the bits of data that are currently loaded in the memory. So you would actually need to go through a full process of dumping everything from memory onto disk, then kind of turning the database off, then taking a physical snapshot of it, and then start it up again. Whereas if you take a logical backup, well, you're just querying an active live database and saying, give me everything you've got, which it will do. So there you go. I still maintain what I said last week. Stop looking for the files. But hopefully now you've been able to find them, you can see them, and now we move on. Next week, I'll continue with more Home Assistant, and I think it's time to play with some gadgets. By that, I mean some devices, you know, some, some things, some lights, some switches that kind of stuff. So I'll see you next time. Bye.